Hey Aussie Gamers, Luke1 here and today I'm bringing you a video which is the most anticipated video games for March 2016. The first cap off the rank is a game called Heavy Rain. Now this one's exclusive to the PlayStation 4 and will be available from the 1st of March 2016. Those of you that had the PlayStation 3 back in 2010, you might realize that this game is, yes, another remastered game. However, with a lot of remasters, they can be a little bit dry and probably don't deserve to be remastered. This game, Heavy Rain, does not fall into that category. Back in 2010, I got my hands on this game and I played it through and I was absolutely blown away. With the graphics, the gameplay, the controls and the arcing stories and the different choices that players could make, Heavy Rain was definitely going to play, have its place in history as one of the most fantastic games available on the PlayStation 3. Now for those people that were Xbox 360 fans, like I was, but only had the Xbox 360, wouldn't have had a chance to, to live this game and play this game. So it really does deserve to have a remaster and be brought forward into the PlayStation for our current generation. So I really do look forward to playing this again. There are several different choices that you can make in the game. So one playthrough may not have you see everything in the game. Well, I promise you it will not have you see everything in the game. As a murder mystery as well, it's got a little bit of suspense, a little bit of a thriller and things like that. Different playable characters. It's something that will really keep you uh, interested in the game. It's quite good. It also has boobies too. So for all those guys out there, if you're anything like me, play it just for the boobies. She's hot, man. She's a real actor too. So get into it. Okay, next up is Tom Clancy's The Division. And this one's going to be available from the 8th of March 2016 and will be available on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. Now, The Division is commonly known among the internets as the Destiny Killer and that's probably because it's an MMO that looks like it might have a story that is understandable and might not be cut into pieces for DLC. Now, just recently before this video has been made, I participated in the closed beta. Now, within that beta, there were little snippets of storylines and things like that, and it really did look like it was in-depth. Now, that's probably the most important thing when comparing it to something like the uh, Destiny, because uh, it failed so poorly with its story. Now, going on to the gameplay, the gameplay is absolutely addictive. So running around, shooting, killing your friends, uh, sorry, killing enemies, killing your friends and going into the dark zone is something that I found really enjoyable. Now the dark zone is going to be somewhere where you can either team up with people who are non-hostiles or you can kill them and take the loot that you both work so hard to get. So that's going to be a bit of a spin on how multiplayer works, which is uh, quite, quite interesting and I'm looking forward to that. The graphics, the gameplay, the way it runs on consoles looks really great and it uh, is really shaping up to be a pretty awesome game. I'm sure we all are really anticipating Tom Clancy's The Division. And the next game I'm going to talk about is Hitman. Now, it doesn't have any subtitles like its previous game in 2012, Hitman Absolution. It's just called Hitman. Now, this one's going to be available from March 11th, and it's going to be available on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Now, the new Hitman game does look like it's going to be sharing what we know from Hitman Absolution with a similar gameplay engine, and this is not necessarily a bad thing. I played Hitman Absolution back in 2012 and I was quite impressed with what you could do in the game, how it looked and how it played. The story was actually quite good too. Now Hitman, the new 2016 version, is going to have a similar gameplay but an extra little thing that I do know about which is the missable missions. So there's going to be little missions that pop up here and there which will mean that you'll need to travel to an X amount of uh, X destination and do X and Y. If you choose to ignore them or don't get there in time or fail these missions, those missions are gone forever. You will not be able to retry them. That's the kind of interesting thing that I like about this new style of gameplay and I'm really looking forward to. So that's kind of neat. Another really interesting thing about the new Hitman game is that it has been announced that it is going to be partially episodic. So it's going to uh, release in different sections and different parts of the game, different parts of the world will be available as it goes. Now from the information that I've got so far is that it is only going to be a matter of months in between the game releases and not you know, 6 to 12 months. So hopefully they do stick to a strict uh, release schedule. Not unlike Telltale Games, which I think have ruined episodic games for me because it sort of puts me off thinking, 
I don't know when the next one's going to come out, and they're just eating up the money if you do buy season passes, etc., etc. But anyway, Hitman does look really good. The graphics look fantastic. Agent 47 always looks fantastic and, and is a bit of a badass assassin. So I look forward to getting my hands on another Hitman game and uh, taking this one for a whirl. Alright, so that's all the games that I've got for this video for March 2016. Thanks everybody for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like and sub subscribe button on YouTube. That really does help us out here at Aussie Gamers Express. And uh, stay tuned in April for my most anticipated games for April. I'm really looking forward to that one and I'm sure most of you know why. Thank you very much. I'm Luke Wan. Thanks.